Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenncarcollection.com and you're looking at my McLaren 570S. Phenomenal car to drive, unbelievable out of this world performance, but it's missing one thing, a manual transmission. We live in a world today where exotic cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, even the amazing new C8 Corvette only come with automatic transmissions. We live in a world where iconic cars like the Toyota Supra only come with automatic transmissions. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you 10 cars, 10 great, amazing cars that come with manual transmissions. And the first one is my E46 M3. I love this car so much, I've owned two of them. My first was a 2003 Laguna Seca Blue Sunroof Delete Black Interior 6-speed manual coupe. And you're looking at my second E46 M3, a 2003 Mystic Blue E46 M3, black interior, manual transmission, 19-inch wheels. Why is this one of the greatest cars with a manual transmission? Well, it has a naturally aspirated engine, the S54, producing 333 horsepower. It has to produce that horsepower with high revs. It revs to over 8,000 RPM. It is rear-wheel drive and a blast to drive. And it's also becoming a collector car. If you can find a nice clean one, they're actually going up in value. I love how these 19 inch wheels look on the car. There's the three pedals, that's the most important thing. You can get this car with the SMG and I won't fault you for doing that, but I love it with the manual transmission. Both of my cars were manual transmissions and it just is a joy to drive at any speed. This I think is gonna go down, at least to me, is one of the most beautiful BMWs ever made, and I think it's one of the best BMWs ever to drive. You have a hydraulic steering rack, a six-speed manual transmission, it's rear drive, it's the right size, it's the same size as the BMW M2, which within three quarters of an inch of that. And here, of course, is the star of the show, the S54 engine. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, engine from BMW. Snap these cars up quick because they are going up in value. Get one while you can and keep it forever. It is an amazing car to own and drive. So now I promise you nine more cars. So remember to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. And what I want you to do is share this video with your friends because I know you have other car friends and let them vote what cars they love with a manual transmission. All right, so if you like high revving motors of the S54 BMW, you're really gonna love this car, and that's the Honda S2000. This is another car that I've owned twice. I owned an 04 Sebring Silver car with 9,000 original miles and a 2006 uh, new Formula Red with 11,000 miles. And the star of the show is this VTEC engine. The AP1s rev up to 9,000 RPMs, the AP2s, like this 2006 that you see here, revs to 8,000 RPM. The great news about this car, unlike the E46 M3, is they only came with manual transmission. So when you see one in the classified, you don't have to worry about sifting through pictures or if the ad says the wrong transmission. They only came with a sweet throw, short throw, manual transmission. And this, to me, is probably my favorite uh, factory shifter. It's got such a short, precise throw in a uh, easy clutch pedal and really easy to drive. Now this car, in a high, like a Porsche Turbo, going 100 miles an hour feels 60. This car, with the top down on the highway, 60 feels like you're going 100. Fantastic car. And here's another car I've owned. I've owned a Cayman S. This is actually a 981 Cayman S that we reviewed a couple years ago. All these cars that you're gonna see, all 10 of them we've actually reviewed on the channel, including the 570S and the CA and the Toyota Supra, so check out those videos. Cayman S, I think, is one of the best performance bargains out there. It's superior to the 911 in handling with the mid-engine, and I've owned a bunch of 911s. I had a 987 Cayman S, and you can get a base 987 for even in the high teens. This is the 981 version, which I love if you have the money. Probably costs you somewhere in the 40000 range. I think this car sold for about 42000 a couple years ago. It was low mileage, about 20 something thousand miles. I actually think the manual cars have actually gone up. I think this car would cost more today than it did when I shot that video. Now, if you like convertibles, 
don't sweat it. Get the Boxster. That's the convertible version of this car. The Boxster's been around a little longer, so prices are typically cheaper. If you get the 987 models, of course, you have to worry about things like IMS bearings and bore scoring, but get a good pre-purchase inspection. If you want to worry about less stuff, get a newer one uh, like, these, like the 981 series. The Cayman S came out in model year 2014. The Boxster S came out in 2013. Even if you get a base one of these cars in manual, they're still phenomenal. You don't, uh, you don't need the S. Uh, of course, the S is fun to have and uh, an amazing car to drive, but you don't need it. That mid-engine behind the head is what you need and that third pedal. So they're fantastic cars to drive, and that is car number three on the list. Make sure to watch to the end because the best-sounding cars and my dream cars are at the end of this video. So, so far, we have saw basically all cars that I've owned, and this is no exception. I own this car as well, the BMW 1 Series M, just like the S2000. This car only came with a manual transmission. Now, the stats don't sound crazy. 335 horsepower, 332 foot-pounds of torque, but it's got bits from the M3 competition, wheels, suspension. It has the N54 engine, which you can mod to make big power. Mine is 100% stock. It only came with a six-speed manual transmission. It's only available rear drive, and it's only available in three colors. This Valencia orange, like mine, black, sapphire, or white, with overboost, you press that sport button, you can get 370 foot-pounds of torque, which is a lot for this bulldog car. It's actually relatively lightweight at 3,200 pounds, about a 0 to 60 time of 4.7 seconds, but it feels much faster. Remember, it's the size of a 1 Series. It's smaller than a lot of the, the E46 M3, smaller than the M2, and it is a blast to drive. Very short wheelbase makes it a very lively car. So my M2, I love, but you have to be in Sport Plus to really get the most out of it. This car, even in regular mode, is hair on fire, Sport Plus mode all the time. And as you can see, only comes with a manual transmission. So how many cars have we done so far? Four? Here's car number five. Sorry, another car I own. The Acura NSX. Now this is a 2005, one of the last ones made the last year, the original NSX. There are some automatics on the uh, NSX. Here in the United States, about 91% came with a manual transmission. And it's a blast to drive. Made model year 91 through 2005. Just like the other cars, some of the others we had here, mid-engine with the engine right behind your head. Now, another great car with a manual transmission is the 911. Pick your 911. I've had the 993 Turbo. I've had the 996 C4S. And I have this current 2017 base Carrera in Miami Blue in a manual transmission. And this is probably one of the most fun cars I've ever owned. I prefer the rear drive 911s, even though my other 911s were all wheel drive, now experiencing the rear drive. But you can't go wrong with either. Check it out. And the manual transmission is a joy to drive. And of course, if you want an automatic transmission, the PDK is phenomenal. It's faster and a great transmission on its own. But this video, of course, is about manual transmissions. And the great news is we can still, even the new one that's out, the 992, you have to get the S, not the base, but Porsche is still keeping the manual transmission. So thank you. Hopefully it continues for a long time. All right, so the next car on our list, I guess it's number seven, is the M2 Competition or the M2. You know my channel started with my 2016 Long Beach Manual M2. A couple years ago, I got to review the M2 Competition, and it is basically an M2 on steroids. Now, unfortunately, the press car they gave me had the DCT transmission, but I have driven it with a manual, and it is a blast to drive. What's great about the M2 or the M2 Competition is it's essentially the same size as the E46 M3. It is faster. I drove my M2 to film some E46 M3 videos, and obviously I've owned both cars. So with the turbocharged N55 of the M2 or the S55 on this M2 competition, it is really a blast to drive. It's the right size, it's the right speed. If you want a dual clutch, go for it. The dual clutch on this car is phenomenal, but it's great that BMW is still making versions of the M2. Even the M2 CS, you've seen our M2 CS video, you can still get the available transmission. So I love this car's size, I love how it looks. With the M2 Competition or M2, it's still affordable with the M2 Competition, 405 horsepower, and it is a really quick car. Now, if you can't afford the M2 Competition, get the M2. You can get an M2 for about $40,000. You'll have 365 horsepower, 
but it's still a blast to drive. All right, so now the last three cars are going to be the best sounding cars. And one of the best sounding cars I've ever driven is this Mustang Shelby GT350R. How can you tell it's the R model? Well, besides the spoilers, the red stripe on the hood stripes. Here you can see the manual transmission. And this car is amazing to drive. This is probably the best sounding factory car I've ever driven. And if you watch this video, you're going to see some good sounding factory cars. Now, this car is definitely becoming a collector's item. This car was bought for about $60,000 private sale. But I've seen them at dealers still asking $70,000, $80,000 for this 2017 example. Now, they're just making the last run, so they're just stopping making this car new now. This was the last model year, so you can actually still pick up a new R if there are any left. But believe me, you can get any version of the R is great. And if you can't fit the R in your budget, get a GT350. It's a phenomenal car. I have a couple videos on that, and it really sounds amazing. Now, getting even better sound, we're getting to a V10 now. This is the Audi R8 V10. If you watch my channel, you know the longer I make the review, the more I like the car. This is the longest video I ever did where I can compare it to an Audi R8 V8 and V10, and the video is 45 minutes long. Now, this is a facelifted V10, so one of the rarest. I tried to buy this car. Uh, unfortunately, the, it fell through, but I really wanted to buy it in Suzuka Gray, six-speed manual V10, so it's a facelifted car. Both of the cars in the videos are actually facelifted 2014. What's not to like? You have all-wheel drive. You have a mid-engine car, but what's great about this mid-engine, it's right, it's a V10, and normally aspirated right about your head. So a lot of like, you know, other cars, maybe they're turbocharged, they don't sound as good, but these cars sound amazing. Even in V8 form, it was amazing having that naturally aspirated V8 behind your head. So I highly recommend the Audi R8. I would love to own either V8 or V10 manual one day, and uh, they are phenomenal cars to, to drive, and they're also going up in value. So definitely uh, keep an eye on the market for these cars. I noticed a significant uh, increase in price compared to the last couple model years, and you just can't beat the sound of them. I mean, they're mid-engine all-wheel drive. What's great about it, it's essentially what they call a Lamborghini with a suit on. And what's great about it is the parts for the Audi R8 is a lot cheaper than a Lamborghini. So you can get, you can easily mod them to make them rear, rear, rear wheel drive like this V10 was. You can easily, uh, this had a $900 exhaust on it and it sounded amazing. And then of course, best manual transmission car ever made, uh, the Carrera GT. Not only is this the best sounding car I think ever, but it is also this is most amazing race car for the street. So that term is overused, and I hate ever saying that, race car for the street, but this really is. I've been in this car in the new 4 GT. The new 4 GT is a Lexus compared to being in this car. This car is, is just a dream car. Uh, it's everybody's favorite car. It's my favorite car. It's Doug DeMuro's favorite car. It's my friend John's favorite car who allowed me to film this car. And the great thing about this car also is it only comes with a manual transmission. So here you have a naturally aspirated V10, only comes in a six-speed manual, making 605 horsepower. These are gonna be million-dollar cars one day. Uh, if I won Powerball, the first thing I'd do is go buy a Carrera GT, and I'd buy as many as I could, depending how much I won in Powerball. The sound of this car is really incredible, and it is just, uh, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm speechless, really, from filming this video. So check out my career at GT video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Share this video with your car friends. Let them watch it. See all 10 cars. Watch it to the end. And vote below. Comment below what is your favorite car. So one on the 10 on this list. What did I miss? Let me know what other cars should be on this list of 10 amazing manual transmission cars. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.